Well, my name is Katherine Moravec and I work for Colorado Springs Utilities as a water conservation specialist, primarily working in um, outdoor water conservation. So here in Colorado Springs, um, it can be a little tricky to grow a landscape. Anybody who's given it a shot has some ups and downs. So what makes it a little bit difficult is that we're at a little bit of a higher elevation, you know, 6,000 feet in elevation and above. And we also have a semi-arid climate. Really, we only get about 16 inches of rain every year, or precipitation every year. Um, so that really throws another challenge into the mix. In a semi-arid climate, um, you can choose from a variety of grasses, really. It depends on how much maintenance you'd like to put into it, the type of look that you're trying to achieve, and then the size of the area that you'd like to have covered by grass. The best thing to do is to match the use of the grass, how much water and maintenance you're willing to put into it with the choices available. So in terms of size, what we find is that people who have a total of a thousand square feet or even less find that really sustainable. They can manage the water bill, they can manage the maintenance, and it actually adds value to their landscape. For folks who really have um, the desire to use a lawn pretty intensely, that's a really good place to start making a decision because um, the grasses that can take significant traffic are Kentucky bluegrass, turf type tall fescue, and perennial ryegrass. Now the downside of those grasses is they're not really water savers. So the trick is if you want to include those in your landscape, make sure that you keep a reasonable size, maybe a thousand square feet or less total of those grasses. Now if you want to choose a grass that um, requires much less water, then you'll probably be looking at buffalo grass, blue grama, or fine fescue as your options. The buffalo grass, blue grama, have a lighter green color, they're not quite as uniform as a traditional lawn, and in addition, they're greener for a much shorter period of the summer. They're typically green from mid-May through early October. If you're looking for a lawn area in a shady location, the best option by far is fine fescue. That's really the only type of grass that will tolerate significant shade, like under a beautiful shade tree. In terms of slopes, um, grass will grow on slopes, but the problem is that when you water it with a sprinkler system, which you have to do here in Colorado Springs to keep it alive, um, the problem is that the water just runs down the slope. So it's really difficult to water a slope effectively. So it's best to just choose a different type of planting for slopes in general. Having a landscape that is beautiful, functional, but doing that in a way that really um, honors where we live, this really makes sense for our community. It makes sense for us as individuals, but it makes sense for our community. 